If something's gonna cause an object to move Whether tiny as a photon or as big as the moon We can calculate how much movement there could be And that number is a thing that we call energy Like James June, it could be stored in stretch elastic on the movement of a ball. The repulsion of two magnets are the bonds and chemicals between an apple and the earth. If an apple wants to fall, the nuclei of atoms mass of anything at all. But whenever there's a change, we shift it energy by pushing, heating, lighting, or electricity. It will go to a new store. That's what we observe. Cause there's a fundamental law that says that energy's conserved. It can be made or destroyed. There's many ways it is stored. Change means a shift into new stores. And the energy after is the same as before. So let's think of Temperature. temperature and since particles attract that will store energy too that means that it will take more work to make the particles move so every substance has its own specific heat capacity and different latent heat to change the state it can be Energy escapes like when your coffee gets cold That's why we insulate And their resistance and friction make cars decelerate So they're aerodynamic and then we lubricate It can be made or destroyed There's many ways it is stored Change means a shift Shift